every human and animal is born with a skeleton. A skeleton is made up of bones, tissue, cartilage, and joints. It helps us move, gives the body structure and shape, holds us upright, and protects our organs. For example, the skull protects the brain. The vertebrae in the spine protect the spinal cord, and the ribs protect the lungs. What are bones made of? Bones are made up of many different layers. The outer layer is called the periosteum. It is thin and contains nerves and blood vessels. These nourish the bones. The next layer is called compact bone and it is smooth and very hard. Inside the compact bone are layers of bone called cancellous bone. It looks a bit like a sponge. Parts of the skeleton. The skeleton is made up of different parts. Bones make up a lot of the skeleton. Bones are made up of living tissues. The outer tissue is hard and the inner tissue of a bone is soft. Bones can store different nutrients like calcium and fat, which can be used by the body when needed. Bones are alive and always growing and changing at different rates. For example, a baby is born with around 300 bones and as the baby grows into an adult, the bones fuse together and the number of bones an adult then has is 206. Some bones in the skeleton include the skull, femur, ribs, collarbone, and humerus. A joint is where two bones meet. Bones are held together by strong bands called ligaments. Some joints can move and some cannot. Without joints in our body, we would not be able to run, jump, or bend. Joints allow our body to move freely. There are many types of joints in our body, such as ball and socket joints, hinge joints, and gliding joints. Moving joints help you to bend, kick, swim, write, and move in all the different ways you need every day. The knee joint and the elbow joint are examples of moving joints. There are joints in the skull called sutures, which are examples of joints which do not move. Cartilage is a connective tissue which protects our joints and bones from rubbing off one another. Some cartilages do not have blood vessels or nerves, so it can take a long time for cartilage to repair if it is damaged. What happens when a bone breaks? A crack in a bone is called a fracture. Most fractures are caused by falls and accidents. It can be very painful and may swell. An x-ray is needed to check if the bone is fractured. Normally, a plaster is placed on the bone to keep it still and straight. This helps it to heal well. Sometimes, surgeons might put in metal rods or plates to hold the bone together. Some doctors specialize in treating people with problems with their bones. This special branch of medicine is called orthopedics. Taking care of our skeleton. It is very important that we keep our bones, joints, muscles, and tissues strong and healthy as we grow up. Here are different ways to care for our skeleton. Protect your skull and the brain inside it by always wearing a helmet when cycling. Keep your bones strong by eating dairy products which contain lots of calcium. Make sure to get lots of exercise, such as running, dancing, and playing sports, which helps to strengthen your bones. That's all for now. For more information and resources related to the skeletal system, head to twinkle.com.